we did it <laughs> yes for a while I thought that it was just not gonna work out in the end and that I would hate it and they would hate it and it would all be ruined but here we are and I actually love it hurry for heaven's sake I count each step you take while I'm waiting for you Hi, welcome to the video. I quickly wanted to introduce the concept of the project. So teenagers are matched with a hundred year olds um, and we go and meet them and get to know them and make an artwork in preparation for an exhibition and at the end we gift the artwork to the centenarian and their family which is lovely. Yeah and not only do we get to work on this amazing art project but we get to meet someone who has lived over a hundred years of life which is pretty incredible and um, truly an honour. So yeah I hope you enjoy it and I won't keep any longer. It's really, really exciting um, to have you all on board and to actually do this phase of the project. So congratulations. Thanks for putting your hand up to, to do this. Um, it's a really um, unique uh, experience that you're about to undertake. So what was your name? Um, Loeva. Loeva? Yes. Wow. How did you get uh, well, I heard about it because I had like lots of people saying I should do it, um, okay. but I am like, I think I do a lot of portraits, so this is kind of like the perfect thing for me, and, oops, sorry, fly, <laughs> and I always enjoy that kind of thing, so I thought this could be a great way to meet, um, this fly won't even, <laughs> to meet someone new, and, you know, yeah, I thought it was just a great opportunity, and especially, <laughs> please leave me alone. And I thought the whole process of actually meeting someone, because I've only just started doing life drawing since we're in the same uni, like Adelaide yeah. Central School of Art, so I thought it could be a really cool opportunity to actually meet a person in real life instead of just doing it from a photo and having sessions where I get to know them, because um, I feel like that could influence the, the artwork as well, and um, you know, doing sketches. It's what I love, so it's very exciting. I kind of thought I'd be extremely nervous at this stage, but I'm actually not. I'm honestly just really looking forward to it. I think it was good having people here that I know as well. <laughs> it, it took a bit of that pressure away mm. and anxiety away of yeah. coming to a new place with, with new exactly. people. It's just a fun experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is a good opportunity to really like challenge ourselves. I really want to push myself and see what I can do. Okay, so I met my centenarian yesterday. She really is lovely, she's so sweet, um, and I'm really looking forward to painting her. Um, I'm going to have to meet with her a few times before I do start, just, you know, to get to know her and see what she likes and what's important to her. But I'm, like, already thinking about it and I'm so excited. Um, I'll try to keep you updated. I did some sketches while I was there, just to kind of get it in the moment, because it's a bit different on a photo. These were some first ones just kind of like warm-ups and I wrote some notes as well like how she describes herself and what she likes and I did this too because I kind of liked the posture and I thought I should just do a painting straight away to really get the essence um, while I still kind of had the experience raw. I like the looseness and the energy of it. The likeness is not there but that can be worked on so I'm going in the right direction I think. I'm very excited. This is going to be a really cool um, experience. That's one test. I'm kind of liking the dark background with the suggested trees, but I'll do a few more and see how I feel. I really like this one. I feel like it has potential and I would love to incorporate some very loose mark making like obvious paint marks and things like that and then more detailed areas like her face and eyes. So because I'm using MDF board again, um, it's got a really smooth texture which is what I like about it but it is wood so it will soak up the oils and the oil paints and basically make it really hard to use and it'll just use up all my paints basically because it'll suck up all the oils and I'll just have to keep adding paint um, and that's a waste. So I'm priming it with acrylic um, white paint which will make a bit like a barrier um, to stop the oils from being soaked up by the wood and it'll make everything easier. So I'm just going to do a couple coats of white acrylic paint 
and then I'll go in with my oils. I've been waiting a while to make this piece. There were a few complications, but finally, let's get started. So, as always, I'm going to do a base of acrylic and um, just keep it very, just very loose, very uh, loose. Then we'll do oils on top. Wow, I feel the pressure. I'm just gonna try to keep it, yeah, loose and authentic to myself. I'm not gonna try to do something I'm not. You can barely see anything, but I've just done like a very, very light and loose sketch and I'm gonna get started with the acrylic. I have found my ideal soul, it seems. The queen of them all is the dream girl of mine. So Did you know yellow and um, black make green? <laughs> Random cool fact for you. Close up all the hubba hubba like a clam. If you ever found out all the dreams that I am dreaming of you, you would think that I'm a wolf, and it's not I'm such a wolf. So aggressive. I'm liking that depth, I'm liking that depth. Yeah, it's a good bass, actually. I'll see you tomorrow. When we're dancing, so my arms won't crush you. I really hope my camera doesn't fall because I'm balancing it on a tub of paint. So I'm going in, I've started using oil paints now. I've mixed some burnt sienna um, with some liquid, which is just like a thinning agent. Yeah, to help thin the paint and just kind of plot where all my features are. Um, I do have to remind myself to not be too perfectionist with this. Now for the eyes. She has these beautiful sparkling little eyes. They just make me want to smile. Mm. I think I made her face more round, so I'll have to readjust that. It's going well. I'm quite happy with the base layer. I do feel like there's something that isn't quite right. Like it's her, but I, I mean, I don't know. There's something else that just needs to push it a little bit further and I don't know what it is. Maybe her jaw needs to stick out a little bit more and be more square. That might be it. Raining violets and where you see clouds upon the hills, you soon will see crowds of daffodils. So keep on looking for a bluebird and listening for his song. Whenever April showers come along I actually wrap um, my unused paint in plastic wrap. I tend to always overestimate how much paint I'm going to use and then I have lots left over and I don't want to waste expensive oil paint. I tend to just take some cling film and just put it on top and flatten it um, and it keeps the paint fairly fresh. So it's a nice little hack if you are interested. And where you see clouds upon the hills you soon will see crowds of daffodils. So keep on looking 
for a bluebird and listening for his song. Whenever April showers come I did the glasses frame and some of the hair. Please make your mind up of this affair. It's going to wind up. Oh, this suspense is killing me. Love me or leave me and let me... This is scaring me a little bit because I'm really going outside my comfort zone with the background. I'm just trying to let loose and be very free and um, brushy. Um, letting loose is not really my strong suit. So, I'm struggling. I've changed the background so much. I just, I don't know, this is not in my comfort zone. I know usually I like to say trust the process, but I do not trust the process right now. Very much not in the comfort zone. I just don't know about this white here. I feel like maybe like a dark, like another dark like trunk would be nice you know like yeah. against the green like no detail but just like this kind yeah, of yeah, brush yeah. strokes like that I, can see that I think that would frame her face I think so too It's due tomorrow, I basically only have today to work on it. Um, so I was feeling the stress, I'm not done. I still have um, a few things to finish off, but. Oh, I don't like that. I'm a lot happy with the background, which is a huge relief. There's a fingerprint on my painting. Side. You'll be welcome on the sunny side. Every gentleman and lady, if you're living where it's shady, come over on the sunny side. You'll be happy on the sunny side. Maybe find the dreams you've been denied. If the blues have got you ill at ease, you still have possibilities over on the sunny side. Folks who look at life behind a shutter miss this funny, sunny world of ours. Looking down, they only see the gutter. Well, if you raise your eyes, you'll see the skies If you're one of those across the way And you find that you're not satisfied Come and see the blue above again Live and laugh and love again Over on the sunny side to happen I'm about to sign it oh my god that means it's finished it's it's weird I'm like I'm literally giving this away tomorrow I'm not like I'm not ready to part with it you know
it's finished. I can't believe it. It it went so quickly. Yeah. I'm so I'm so relieved and I'm so happy with how it turned out because I did have a period where it just wasn't coming together and I was worried. But here it is and I love it. I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. It's it's Jean, I think. I hope. Oh, so relieved and excited for them to see it. It was such a cool opportunity to do this project. Like, I'm so grateful that um, I got to meet Jean and paint her. I mean, that's such a cool thing to do. You can check out this centenarian portrait project here in the drill hall till the end of the month. The portraits are the work of teenage artists who've forged friendships with South Aussies who are aged 100 or over. I will take some footage of the exhibition, of course, when it's up. Um, and show you that. Don't know where I'm at. I'm just a listener, then I'm a ladder. I take her on the channel. My, my, my. Oh my god, it's right there! As I do. Just when I'm ready to start, you hand me a throb. I'm really excited to see everyone else's work as well because it's it's been sort of secretive. Like, there's been some little peaks of other people's work, but it has been rather, yeah, a bit of a mystery. So I'm very excited to see that. I love it, I do. Being broken by a builder upper like you. There's this strange and unfortunate view on old people, I think. Um, they can be seen as unimportant or unloved. It's very sad. We should have so much respect for the people who have lived so many years of life, especially those who have experienced over a century of life. That's pretty incredible and it should be such an honor to be able to speak with them about their experiences and and what they've been through and any advice or stories that they might have to share. It really is something to be celebrated and um, I think I've really come out of this whole experience seeing growing up as a beautiful thing. I really do see my centenarian Jean as such a beautiful person, truly inside and out. She's sweet and kind but also cheeky and mischievous and has a sense of humour and I'm just so honoured and grateful that I got to meet her and speak with her and spend time with her and take what she shared with me and what she told me and depict it um, in my form of expression, which is art. And I will forever be so grateful that, that I could do that for Jean. <laughs> anyway, that was the video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to like the video just to support my channel um, and perhaps subscribe if you'd like to keep up with all my artistic endeavours. But I'll see you in the next one. Do something creative, it's good for your soul. Yeah, okay, see you soon. Bye! Boop. Yeah, such an honor, such an exciting, like, I never imagined it would be this amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, it was such an honor to get to know and paint Jean. Like, she's such an outstanding person and like, her outlook on life is just, just wonderful. She's been through a lot. Um, she, I guess she's had some, some difficulties in life, but she's so positive and so optimistic and, and fun and cheeky and she's got this little spark in her eye when I first met her um, and that was the main thing I wanted to, to try to capture so I actually added some little gold glints in her eyes so hopefully if you move you might be able to see the little spark you know um, yeah just she's such a wonderful person I'm honored so grateful so Nan absolutely loved the whole experience. She loves young people and, and she's a painter herself and unfortunately she is somebody who's very particular. Um, but she, oh, she had tears in her eyes when she first saw the painting on the phone when you sent it to my mum. Oh, it's just so lifelike and yeah, it, it's absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure, it's beautiful. Mother Nature
for me because we have Nanny and I see all the um, you know young people that have painted you know it's, it's just the opportunity because they are very when you have when you are old there are so many things that comes with being old and so many stories and and you can't imagine that they they live through so many things so I hope all the kids learnt that you know you can get through anything and you know life is not particularly that easy at the moment but when we look back at what Nanny went through with her brothers and that's what I get out of having an older person in my life is you know they went through hardships and I hope the kids learnt that from everyone but yeah this is just absolutely heartfelt and that and it's so realistic and she looks like her brother like I can see her it's just I honestly and unbelievable so thank you thank you it's absolutely amazing wonderful it'll be on display forever it'll be on our family forever trust me that just makes my heart just